March is right around the corner, so it's time for some spring cleaning. I'm talking about those unneeded programs. Even if we trash our Linux files, some still remain to collect digital dust forever. Let's learn how to get rid of these for good. Brought to you by GoToAssist. The obvious route is to go into the software center and just click remove on the application in question. But that doesn't satisfy. We want to really sweep out the cobwebs here. So instead, use the software center to install Deborphin. Don't worry, everything I'm about to teach you will work in any Debian-based distro, not just Ubuntu. I'll explain more about what we just installed later, but it's time to get a terminal open. Now I've decided that I don't like LibreOffice anymore, so I want to delete it and all of its files. Purging is the best way to do that, and there's a purge command, but for compatibility's sake, I'll do the old sudo app get remove purge LibreOffice and everything. Then I like to clean up the local repos of package files because oftentimes they just accumulate like crazy and take up space. You can also auto remove the packages that were only installed because your application was dependent on them. Or you could go back to the safer option, which is Deborphin. One reason that Deborphin is better than apt-get auto-remove is that it only removes libraries by default, so you don't have a possibility of blowing away your Unity installation just because one package in the Ubuntu desktop meta package depended on it. And you can type this really long command to remove said unneeded libraries, or you could make it easier on yourself and install GTK Orphan. It's the GUI of Deborphin and lists all the data packages that are unnecessary and destined for your destruction. Using those commands, you should be able to get your Linux box pretty squeaky clean, but if that's not enough for you, go ahead and fire up Katerstat. It's a program that gives you visual representation of all the hard disk space that you're using and how to get rid of that as well. So thanks for watching OS All. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source. Guess what job I'm talking here? You get constant IMs from coworkers, and they pull you in every direction at work to show you things that make you face bomb. You're in IT, and as much as you'd like to wear the no, I will not fix your computer t-shirt five days a week, your boss won't let you get away with it. But that's where GoToAssist comes in, by Citrix. Imagine solving all the annoyances I mentioned by using one simple platform, remote support. Yes, I said remote. That means you can easily do the one thing for which all workers aspire, telecommute. With a remote support app, you can provide live or unattended support to multiple clients at once using your PC, Mac, iPad, even your Android device. Easily manage inventory and check up on all your devices, networks, and servers by using GoToAssist monitoring feature with proactive alerting to identify issues before they turn into big problems. All the while logging incidents and their solutions using service desk so the coworkers you left at the office don't show up at your door. Sign up for your special 30-day free trial today. Visit gotoassist.com, click on the Try It Free button, and use the promo code OSALT. That's go to assist.com, promo code OSL.